Hey guys, thanks for stopping back to my channel. I'm here again to film another new to me vendor haul. I'm really excited about this one as well. This, uh, the scents I got, um, I'm really digging them. So, uh, this is from the company Wonderberry Wax. <clears throat> so, just to give you a little background information, because I did take some notes, uh, they use the Parasoy blend. They have, it's a pre-order ordering style so once a month I think they open for pre-orders of a certain scent list and then after those ship they open for ready to ship items from the same from the scents that were on the pre-order pre-order if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure that's how that works um and they have a four to six week turnaround time and eight dollar flat rate shipping which I think is nice so uh, this is from their January pre-order opening, which was on January 7th. I got my shipping notice on February 7th, so it took less than five weeks. <clears throat> and, yeah, these are their six packs of tarts, and they sell for $4.75, and they're 4.2 4 ounces. So, really awesome prices on these. So, yeah. Oh, and I just want to say that their next pre-order is Friday, February 10th, in case you're interested, which is tomorrow that can't be right i think i'm thinking of their like bath and body that pre-order is on the 10th i think their next wax one is on the 18th but i could also be wrong i'm not sure all right so to avoid this video from being super super long i'm just gonna get right into it so these two things i have up front are samples <clears throat> take off my jacket i don't want my jacket to get in all this wax <laughs> okay so the first two things are samples so i'll just start with this one this is in the scent italian cream soda i didn't look up scent descriptions for the samples i usually do but i i just remember right now that i didn't so i'm sorry but yeah look i got uh these really cute um ice cream cones they're really adorable um, a lot of the tarts smell really strong on cold also. This one's interesting because I've never had a scent like this before. I'm just going to sniff the bag real fast. It smells good. It's like fizzy and creamy. Yeah, it's alright. It's not like my normal type of scent that I would go for, but it's nice to try it in a little sample size. <clears throat> This next sample I got, I actually really, really like. It's uh, pretty awesome. This one is Blueberry Meringue Tort. And I think this one is a combination of uh, blueberry and lemon, like lemon meringue, and like some cake notes, I think. I'm pretty sure this is in her Bath & Body pre-order as well. Um, I think that if they brought this one into the wax pre-order, I might actually get a six-pack of this. It just smells really sweet, like really sweet, um, and their tarts are super pretty, by the way. Uh, this one's two-tone, blue and yellow, with some sprin uh, sprinkles, with some glitter on top. Uh, so I think the thing I get the most is a lemon, like a fluffy lemon meringue, really tart and sweet. And I think I'm getting just a hint of blueberry in the background, but I, I really like that, and I think I might actually purchase that in a bigger size if it's available. <clears throat> I would like to melt it first, but you can't always do that before you purchase things, you know. So I'm just going to start with the two things in front and then work my way back. <clears throat> this first scent is the only one that I got in a heart shape, <laughs> but these are super pretty. It's two-toned. It's not going to want to focus on all this glitter that's on here, but um, this is in the scent Cloud Nine. It's cotton candy marshmallow. And I didn't even realize that they put the scent descriptions on the bags for you. How nice is that? And there's a pour date. Oh my gosh, 10 out of 10 already. <laughs> but I love when they include some descriptions. Just in case they didn't, I wrote them all down. But that's awesome that, that I don't have to write them down anymore. So Right off the bat, I want to say that this is probably my hands-down favorite cotton candy marshmallow scent I've smelled from any vendor. 
Sorry, I'm just sniffing the bag because it's always easier to kind of get a more better scent, scent, whatever from it. But yeah, this is like super creamy marshmallow goodness. This one is really nice. Um, I think that's just going to get stronger with cure time. It's already like decent enough on strength for a cold sniff, but once that one cures, that's going to be awesome. <clears throat> okay, so this one on the right here. Oh, sticking to the... Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. All right. This next one on the right is French Vanilla Cookie. This is rich vanilla bean cream and warm sugar cookies. This is what the tart looks like, in case you're wondering. Ooh, the, the glitter is actually gold, but when I do that, it looks green. <laughs> but all one color, and it's just a square. It's still really pretty. So this one is interesting, because this is like a super rich vanilla. I don't think I've smelled the vanilla like this before. Yeah, it's just like super... It's just like a different type of vanilla. It's interesting. I kind of want to say it smells musky almost. I don't know. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that one is when it's melting. But that's French Vanilla Cookie. Sorry for all the crinkling in this video. I absolutely hate these bags. Um, I just placed an order with Wilma's for some polypropylene bags because I'm literally, I don't trust these bags with like scent escaping. So I'm literally just going to seal them up, keep them in these bags sealed up and then put them in the polypropylene bags. And of course, because I bought those bags, I had, I had to place a small order of some wax too. So <laughs> be, on the, be on the lookout for that video as well, but that won't ship for probably another month. Or at least the video won't be up for another month. <laughs> Alright, so going back here. Um, I think this one might be my favorite of my whole order. I'm not sure. I really like all of them, though. So this one is fruit dip. This is apple and orange slices smothered in a cream cheese marshmallow fluff fruit dip. So I got this one solely because of the cream cheese marshmallow fluff fruit dips. Like... I don't like apple or orange scents, but I was like, maybe that creaminess from the marshmallow and the cream cheese and all that would just make this scent awesome, and it really is. So this is the tart. It's super pretty. Very, very pretty wax that they have. I love the presentation. comes in a nice white box with some of those, uh, I don't know what those papers are called. They're like crinkly papers. But yeah, this one is super good. Um, I feel like the cream cheese note is really going to come out after it's cured and when it's melted. Um, I don't know what fruit I'm getting the most of. I feel like it's a really good blend of apple and orange because I'm not picking up on one more than the other. And that's kind of hard to do because those are two really strong scents, apples and oranges. So to get those to blend together really nicely, like, that's awesome. So I really like that one. I think it smells good. Okay. <clears throat> and my foot is falling asleep, so that's unfortunate. Gotta move a little bit here. Oh, and I forgot to include that they do send an invoice, and this was, like, on the inside the box, like, right when you open it. And I don't know. I love those personal touches. <clears throat> All right, so moving on. I think I like this this look of the wax the most. So this one is strawberry white cake, or I'm sorry, this is dream fluff, which is strawberry white cake, white cake cotton candy. It's not focusing, of course. My phone hates to focus, but this is what the wax tart looks like. Like, look how pretty that is. I don't know, I just think it's gorgeous. Um, okay, so this is probably the one I'm most disappointed in, if I had to be disappointed in a scent. Because it's super light on cold, okay. And I think I'm picking up on that artificial strawberry note, so I think what I'm going to do from now on with Vendor Wax is... Once I find, because I know Snuff My Tarts has a good strawberry, Sassy Girl Roma has a good strawberry, who else? Um, 
Ava's has a really good strawberry. I'm just going to stick with vendors that I know have a good strawberry. I'll try one strawberry scent from every vendor I buy from. And then after that, I'm just sticking to like my no, my go-to strawberry scents. Because every time I get these strawberries <clears throat> that just smell like that artificial... I just call it a super tart strawberry because that's the first one I had that smelled like that. But yeah, this tart is really, really light on cold sniffs. So I'm just going to smell the bag. I don't know, but sometimes I smell it and it doesn't smell as bad as I think it does. And then sometimes I smell it and it smells bad. So, <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> I think that one is going to have to cure for a good amount of time. And then just watch my weekly melt videos and you'll know how I feel about it. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the last one that I purchased. And my order with shipping was, uh, I believe it was like $31.75. Yeah, thirty-one seventy-five. <clears throat> so I feel like this, that's a really good deal for all this stuff. So this last scent I got is in Dizzy Donuts. This is Jelly Glazed Donuts, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Whipped Cream. I heard a lot of people talking about this one and I decided to try it. I want to get a close-up on this tart because it's really cool. They have It has like uh, little beads on it. You see them? I don't know. I think. I think that's really cool. I haven't seen that type of like sprinkle, or I keep wanting to call them sprinkles. I haven't seen that type of glitter yet, so I think that's really cute. But, um, <clears throat> this one isn't what I was expecting it to be. Because, first off, it's really light on, light on cold sniff. But, yeah, I'm gonna smell the bag. So in the bag, I think I'm getting a a strawberry, yet again, with maybe like a raspberry or something, and a little bit of a donut scent, nothing like too overpowering, but yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. That one also needs a good long cure time. <clears throat> So I guess in order from most to least like, uh, it's fruit dip first. Then we got clown nine over here. Uh, I'm going to do the sample blueberry brang tort. And then, I don't know, maybe I guess dizzy donuts, French vanilla cookie, dream fluff. Then I'm just not a <clears throat> soda type wax person. So that one comes in last place, but they all smell really nice um, for the most part. Um, I'm really happy with my order. I think, um, I mean, from just this alone, I would probably repurchase. Um, I have to wait a month to let them cure, but hopefully these perform well. I haven't heard any really bad things about Wonderberry. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm excited about it, and I don't know. Try Place a small order and let me know how you feel about them. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I have an Ava's haul coming on Saturday, so hopefully I can get that up on Saturday. <coughs> Excuse me. And my weekly wax melts, I think I'm going to film tomorrow on Friday because that'll be a full week. I do have a lot of stuff, so that is going to be a very long video. I'm just warning you guys now. Uh, probably like a 25, 28-minute video there. <clears throat> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.